welcome to the new set of lectures in electrical power system we are going to discuss the unsymmetrical fault analysis let us look into the contents so lecture 41 to 45 we are going to discuss the unsymmetrical fault analysis 41 we will go for the introduction to unsymmetrical fault 42 we will discuss the single line to ground fault 43 we are going to discuss the line to line fault 44 we are going to discuss the double line to ground fault and finally lecture number 45 we are going to discuss the computation of fault current using sequence network so this set of lectures will be dealing with the unsymmetrical fault analysis so let us start with lecture number 41 we are going to discuss the introduction to unsymmetrical faults so what are unsymmetrical faults the fault current in the three phases are unequal so whenever the fault current flown in the three phases are unequal it is known as unsymmetrical fault if the fault currents are equal then it is known as symmetrical faults most of the faults that occur in power system are unsymmetrical fault so generally less number of percentage is there of occurrence of symmetrical fault generally the fault that occur on power system are basically the unsymmetrical fault and these faults are occur due to unsymmetrical short circuit in the line unsymmetrical fault through impedances open conductor of the line now when there is one or two open conductors that result in unsymmetrical fault through either the breaking of one or two conductors so this open conductor can result due to the breaking of the conductors or action of the fuses and other devices that may not open the three phase simultaneously so whenever uh, one of the phase or two of the phase are affected due to breaking of the conductor or maloperation of the fuses and the other devices it may it results in unsymmetrical faults then what are the types of unsymmetrical faults we have so if we classify the types of unsymmetrical faults then it will be single line to ground fault line to line fault and double line to ground fault so these are the three classification of unsymmetrical fault single line to ground line to line and double line to ground fault so if we see the difference between a symmetrical fault and unsymmetrical fault so all these faults are basically some type of faults so if all the three phases are involved then it is known as symmetrical faults so this is basically symmetrical now these three sets of fault are basically unsymmetrical fault so these three set of fault are known as unsymmetrical faults so if there is a line to line fault involving two lines suppose this is line number r y and b then if the two lines are involved either y b or r y then it is known as line to line fault line to ground fault will involve either one line and the ground so whenever there is a line which is sorted with respect to ground then it is known as line to ground fault if two lines are sorted to ground then it is known as double line to ground fault so this is the difference between a symmetrical fault and unsymmetrical fault the path of the fault current from line to line or line to ground may or may not contain an impedance the meaning is that if you have a line and that is being grounded then the fault current which is flowing through the ground may or may not contain an impedance so this will have can have an impedance zf so this will flow as if so it may or may not have an impedance since any unsymmetrical fault cause unbalanced current so whenever there is a unsymmetrical fault you will have unbalanced current to flow in the system the method of symmetrical components is very used in the analysis to determine the current and voltage in all part of the system after the occurrence of the fault so whenever you will have a unsymmetrical fault so unsymmetrical fault will result in unbalanced current will result in unbalanced current now this unbalanced current 
can be dealt with respect to symmetrical components. So symmetrical components will be used to deal with the unbalancing current and it will be used to analyze the fault due to the unbalancing of the current. Now power system fault will be considered by applying Thevenin's theorem. So this we have already seen in case of symmetrical fault. So power system fault can be dealt with Thevenin's theorem which allows to find the fault current. So our prime motive is to find the fault current by replacing the entire system by a single generator and a series impedance. So we know that Thevenin's theorem states that if there is a Thevenin's voltage in series with a Thevenin resistance, then the entire circuit can be reduced in this format. So all this fault can be analyzed with the help of Thevenin's theorem. Now we have already learned bus impedance matrix that will be useful to deal with the unsymmetrical faults. So we'll see how bus impedance matrix can be used to be used for analysis of unsymmetrical fault. Also sequence circuit and sequence network also we have studied that will be used to find the fault current during unsymmetrical fault analysis. Now let us see the theory of unsymmetrical fault. So if you have a three conductors that is a three phase line and if there is a fault occurring in any of the line or comparing the two lines then at the point of the fault suppose there is a point of the fault here so this is the fault point then a current will flow through the fault either between the two lines or between the line and the ground then these are known as the fault current which is represented by IFA, IFB and IFC if A, B and C are three phases at the fault point. So this shows that three lines ABC of the three phase system at the part of the network where the fault occurs. So this is the point where the fault has occurred and these three are the phases and this is the direction of the current flow during the fault. The flow of current from each line into the fault is indicated by an arrow. So this arrow will indicate the fault shown by hypothetical stub connected to each line at the fault location. So this is the hypothetical stub connected and this is the arrow which shows the fault current. So appropriate connections of the stub represent the various type of fault. So whether it is a single line to ground fault, line to line fault or double line to ground fault, you will have an appropriate connection. Now for instance, uh, direct connection of stub B and C produce a line to line fault. Since B and C, the two lines are involved, so it is line to line fault and that is through the zero impedance. The current in stub A is then zero and IB is equal to IC. Now since if you have a three phase A, B and C and fault occur where all these two lines are coordinated, then your current IB and IC will be equal whereas the current in IA phase will be zero. The line to ground voltage at any bus J of the system during the fault will be designated as this type. So if you have a bus J and all the phases A, B and C then the line to ground voltages will be represented by this manner. Here subscript 1, 2 and 0 always will be used as positive, negative and zero sequence quantities. As we have known that during the unsymmetrical fault unbalanced current will flow. So we will be using the symmetrical components to deal with the fault. Now here 1, 2 and 0 components that is positive, negative and zero components will be used to analyze the unsymmetrical fault. Now here the voltage representation we see. So earlier we have seen that if there is a J bus with all the phases A, B and C then 1, 2 and 0 will represent the positive, negative and zero sequence impedance for the different voltages at the buses. The line to neutral voltage of phase A at the fault point before the fault occurs will be designated simply by VF. So VF here indicates the pre-fault voltage. So VF here indicates the pre-fault voltage. So pre-fault voltage generally we take as 1 per unit. 
So in per unit system, we take the pre-fall voltage as 1 per unit, which is basically the positive sequence voltage because once the fault has occurred, then only unbalancing will occur. So be before occurrence of the fault, the voltage is basically the positive sequence voltage. Now the pre-fault voltage VF is considered previously when calculating the current with a symmetrical three-phase fault. So whenever we have a symmetrical fault, we have already seen how to deal with this pre-fault voltages. Now calculation of fault current. So certain assumptions we will be making to calculate the fault current. First, power system is balanced before the fault. So before the fault condition, your power system will be balanced such that the three sequence network will be only dealing with the positive sequence network is active. So before the occurrence of the fault, your power system is balanced and you will have only the positive sequence network, zero sequence and negative sequence network will be inactive. So as the fault occur, the sequence network are connected only through the fault recursion. So when the fault occur, we have to analyze the system. So sequence network we are going to use and it is connected only through the fault location. The fault current is negligible such that the pre-fault positive sequence voltage are same at all nodes and at the all fault location. So your current that is flown due to the fault is negligible. So pre-fault positive sequence voltage are same at all nodes and at all fault location. All the network resistance and line charging capacitance are neglected. So whenever we are dealing with the transmission line, we will not take the network resistance and line charging capacitance. All loads are passive. So whenever we are dealing with any load, load are basically passive except the rotating load which are represented by synchronous machine. So this is the overview and the introduction of unsymmetrical fault analysis.